So here we are at Loch Lomond and we're here today to take a very different uh, plane video or flight video um, in the sense we're taking a seaplane today and we're going from Loch Lomond on a tour around the islands with Loch Lomond seaplanes. Let's go! Loch Lomond seaplanes operate flights from pier located on the grounds of Cameron House on the shores of Loch Lomond obviously. Cameron House is a very popular hotel in the Loch Lomond area and is currently undergoing quite a lot of construction work. You alright buddy? Are you today? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Do you want me to wear a face mask? Um, it's up to you. Alright. Um, the arm's wired but it's, it's, it's fine. Alright, no worries. Just brought it just in case. Yeah, no, no problem at all. Um, yeah, just hang around. Um, I'll go for a wonder, but be back to me at 25 past 5. Yeah, hey, brother. Once everyone's here, we'll get going for the flight. Alright, no worries. Perfect, cheers. In 2017, Cameron House experienced a fire which did destroy much of the building and sadly did involve loss of life. The restoration work on the original building is mostly complete and the hotel is currently undergoing a large extension project. But what we are here for today is the Island Discoverer Tour offered by Loch Lomond Seaplanes. Loch Lomond Seaplanes operate a single Cessna 208 caravan and I'm sure as you can imagine it's in the seaplane variant. This flight today. Um, booked it a while ago and I was meant to go on it in um, February, but it got cancelled due to bad weather. Um, these tours, they sort of run them only really if the weather is good. And well, the weather is hot, but it does look like sort of over that way that uh, the weather is closing in a bit. So I'm not sure how much of the islands we're going to see. Um, can't actually remember whereabouts it goes in the islands. I'll put that in in voiceover, but um, Loch Lomond yeah. Seaplanes is also planning to start up some scheduled services in the near future. So we'll try and get on one of those later in the year. But for now, let's go back to the terminal and... Terminal? Well, it's a pier, isn't it? It's not a terminal. <laughs> Let's go back to the pier and get on the plane. As we still had some time to wait, I decided to have a seat down on the shores of Loch Lomond. Somebody should probably make a song about this place. It is very bonny. Apparently now we're just waiting for some people to turn up who are stuck in traffic. So just hanging about the pier now until we get going. Um, the aircraft holds nine people and it looks like it's going to be full. So it's peak tourist season, so it's to be expected. Yeah, so I'm just sat down waiting now. At least it's clearing up a bit. The sky's getting a bit brighter, it's not as dark and gloomy now. So hopefully it will be a really good flight over the islands to do. Before boarding the plane we were given a safety demonstration on shore. Perfect, not too close to the edge. Yeah, no bother. Yeah. So again, you're in a nice line along here. Let's squeeze up that way a bit. Perfect. Uh, you know the white jackets, the seat covers in front of you. Yours is the door clock on your right hand side. Uh, the safety briefing card, if you want to study for the exams. Your way through. No Very front right. The team very kindly gave me the co pilot seat for this flight, which, to be honest, just made my day. Yep. Right, just down on your right hand side you'll find your seatbelt unit. Yep. Grab that first on your right hand side. You've got a phone in your pocket. You've got to use it. I didn't help now because once you're strapped in in your pocket, it's not Yeah. <laughs> right. okay. so we'll get in this now. We'll get in this. Getting in and settled, the ropes were untied and we taxied our way out on the water for takeoff.
Taking off out of Loch Lomond, the views are instantly stunning and only get better the more we climb. Passing over Helensboro, we head out towards the sea. I'll label some of the locations and stop talking, so you can enjoy these incredible views. Honestly, I can say that the footage just does not do this flight justice, and really needs to be experienced for yourself. And as we head back towards Loch Lomond, passing over Greenock and flying over Helensboro, that concludes the tour.
All that is needed to do now is land. Which on busy Loch Lomond does seem trickier than you'd think. The pilot did tell me that the aircraft does have to give way to anything already on the water, so finding a line to take for landing can be a bit like dodging bullets, especially with all the jet skis zipping about the place. Like I said, you really need to get on this flight yourself. It really is an experience you have to see in person. Loch Lomond Seaplanes are planning to start a scheduled flight service to the Isle of Jura, so later in the year we will be back to get on that. So there we have it, Loch Lomond Seaplanes Island Tour. Um, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I would recommend it to anybody who really wants to get to see the Scottish Highlands. Um, and seaplanes, they're a unique experience, so I would highly recommend it. Um, it doesn't cost the earth. Um, this flight, I can't remember what it cost me, but I'll put it down below. Um, but anyway, guys, what do you think of that? Would you go on this? Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, definitely worth the wait. Um, I'm kind of glad now that they decide to run it only when the weather is really good because the views were absolutely stunning. But anyway guys, that's all I've got time for. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing as it really does help out the channel. And as always people, we will see you in the next one.